Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Today. It's me, Ella, and this is going to be my video for Veda Day 3. <laughs> so far, so good. I've done two days. This is the third one. But I finished my poncho. I have a tippy toe. <laughs> it's made with um, Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel Have It Sorbet. It's one ball and a little bit of another ball. The first ball ran out in this light blue section. I haven't woven in my hands yet. <laughs> And um, then I just, I actually didn't finish the last row. There's 32 rows of this netting. And I got halfway done with the last round. But I, it was going to turn from this blue color to red. And I didn't want just a little red. So I just used the blue until it ran out. And I don't think it's going to matter. Because no one's, you know, you can't really tell that it's not the whole thing. <laughs> but I like it. Yeah, Jesse likes it. He thinks it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll ever wear it a lot. But, um... It was fun to make. <laughs> but here it is. I'm tippy toeing so you can see it. I have to weave in my ends uh, still. I haven't done that yet. But I'm working on it. And then today I started another crochet project. This one I saw Pamela. Oh, I can't remember her channel name. There's so many Pamela's. <laughs> it's Pamela's something crochet in knit. I can't remember. It'll be linked below. But she made this, um, I think she made it a while ago, and but she just recently showed it in one of her videos, her most recent video. Mom, you made that. What? Yeah, I made this, but I'm talking about another thing. Oh. Yeah. But she made, a, she shared a shawl that she made. <laughs> she shared a uh, pattern that she made, and it's from Melody's Crochet. It's here on YouTube. It is a free video tutorial, but she also has a written uh, pattern on it, which I printed out. Um... So that I could do it, you know, while sitting on couch without having a phone or whatever. Anyways, it's a super simple uh, pattern. I have changed it though. She made it with an end hook and uh, the end, I only have one end hook and it's just a Susan Bates regular. doesn't have like a handle on it. And um, I wasn't, it wasn't comfortable at all. So I just went down to my next biggest hook that has a pad on it, which is uh, a J and it's Clover more. So it's going to be smaller and the holes are going to be a little bit smaller. But it's still going to be a little shawl. That's what I got so far. I got like four four and a little bit uh, rows. But it's just a really open, um, it's double crochet and chain space mesh. And it's going to, you know, it's, you start with it a long chain and then you decrease down to the point. And it's just going to be a cute little shawl to like throw over my shoulders or whatever. And I'm going to try to, I don't know if it's going to be big enough because of me switching the hook size. But if it is big enough, I'll keep it. If not, I'll just rip it out and start over. But it's going to have tassels on it, too. And it's called the Fringe Triangle Shawl by Melody Crochets. And I'll link it in the description. I'll also link Pamela's channel, too, because I forgot how to say it. <laughs> but um, I'll link it below so you can check out both. And uh, like I said, there's a tutorial for this, but there's also a just a pattern. And, uh, yeah, the yarn that I'm using is, it's a Red Heart Super Saver. And I think it's called Flamingo. It's like a... Um, coral color but I, I had uh bands on it but i don't i don't want no happy to them <laughs> i broke them off or something but i got two balls of this so i thought one should be more than enough but um i just thought it's pretty color it'd be pretty with like a white shirt underneath it so yeah i'm gonna be working on that the next few days and i'll share that with you guys as it gets bigger <laughs> and anything else that i might start working on in the next few days but yeah so that's everything for today and i just wanted to share that with you check out the links below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys